Asgard mini RDA. Let's do this! Hi guys, I'm Holly from Vitmill and today we're reviewing the Asgard RDA. Let's go over some specs and then we'll move on to the review, then we'll move on to rewicking. Let's do this! So, it's 25mm or 28mm if you got a beauty ring on. 24k plated gold pin and post. Comes squonkable. Semi postless deck. 6mm juice well. 4 2.5mm by 3mm post holes. Ultim heat sink, airflow reducer, airflow diffuser, and chamber reducer. Locking top cap and rail system. Comes with spare screws, o rings, and what's not. It's available in stainless, black, naval brass, purple, and gunmetal. So, the review section is quite short on this. Uh, mainly because I love it. It's ace, so there's not much things to talk about. First thing I will talk about is the deck. The deck looks really nice and big, and it is, it's got a lot of juice, it's got quite a big juice well. My biggest downside is I looked at this and thought, oh wow, there's so much room, so much space. However, there is a hold back. The reducer, airflow, diffuser, and everything else is really thick and into the center, which means how my coils currently are is pretty much as wide and far to the edges as you can have them, which I think is quite a waste. But it obviously works because it's amazing. The amount of they've produced is shit up. Let's say the, the amount of they've produced is shit up. Obviously, it's got adjustable airflow, like I said, in specs. What you might not realize is. As you've just seen the diffuser cap, it's the actual outer that spins and not the cap. The cap, the cap locks on. If my camera will focus, you've got a hole here and a hole in your deck. So it only fits on one way. Then the cap spins on the outside of it. The air four holes, if you can see them, are 24 holes on either side. That's a whopping 48 holes. And it really does provide a very vapor, very flavorsome vaping. It is, it's amazing. I do love it. It has actually probably beaten my V-God, which I don't know. <clears throat> my regular watchers will know that I use my V-God constantly. It's my favorite RDA. But this is probably better. I haven't even thought about my V-God ones this week. That's wrong. Because you've got top airflow, I've had absolutely no leaking, which my V-God's got bottom airflow. So, there's quite a lot of leaking with that. I love it guys. Quick talk about the unboxing. It comes in this really pretty bag. This it has got mini on the front. And Vapors Cloud on the back. Inside we've got some more rings, spare screws, an Allen key for your squonker pin, and a spare drip tip. The drip tip is a different size. It's slightly taller, but it's the same size as the diameter. You've also got the beauty ring. Which I know a lot of people are a fan of, but at the same point I'm not, I think it's a bit pointless, it's just literally for visuality, that's with it on, that's with it off. It really is just what it says on the tin, it's a beauty ring, it's a vanity, not much more. <coughs> so without further ado, let's crack on with the re-wicking. Something I admitted from the review is a really good thing about the Asgard. And the really good tell sign of a good idea is you can build it in any way, shape or form. And it still puts out pretty well. For this review, I am going to be using the Fuse Claptons. I've made it myself. There are five wraps. That's five from the bottom, six from the top. And they kick out about 0.66 ohms each. So I'm going to build it about 0.33. Without further ado. Now I've read reviews where it says you can build from four to four or five on your legs. I've been building at 6, for the purpose of this review but I'm going to do my legs at 5.5. Five. Bang them straight in. Obviously you've got your gold pin which is positive and your negative pin which is silver. So 
So now we've built it in nice and tight. Good point of position. Like I said, a review, they need to be quite into the middle. If they're too far to the edges, they're going to eat your air flow diffuser. Make sure we're burning nice and equal. It's pretty alright to me. Now it's cooled down a bit, we're going to wick some cotton in it. I'm using the CO cotton threads, COTN. Just because they're really good, they don't have any flavour. And I'm lazy, so them being threads are really ideal. Now at 5mm, these are just perfect. cutting off and using both sides fluff it up Like some juicier in it. Sorry, mango crush, it's absolutely lush. If you haven't tried it, try it. They usually they expose every year, so if you've been to one of them, you probably tried them. Now, this is the weird bit. If I was you for your first time, I'd take your mouthpiece out, twist and push your insert out, and just pop it on. That way you can actually see where your colours are placed. That on mine, that one could go a little bit more out. Because if you try and put the top cap on straight away without knowing exactly where it's going to lie, you'll do what I did and end up destroying your coils. But now we know it fits. Bang it in there, twist it so it locks in. Push your top cap on, airflow is fully open, so bang it on there. So just to summarise, the has got a minute is amazing. Really easy to build on, so it's good for you beginners. Um, but it also is really easy to play with and experiment with. So it's good for anybody. It is a great piece of kit. And I'd recommend anyone get it, to be fair. It's really good. I think it's a little bit pricey compared to some of the RDAs I've used, but it's not expensive. I think RRP is at about 40 quid. Which, but it's definitely worth it. Every second, every penny. So crack on and get it. Now, on with the Romeo winner. So the winner of the Romeo Stars kit was Rupert Gaston. Congratulations dude, you got to message me on Facebook or Instagram or email if you can get my email in regards to talk about shipping. Congratulations. I also want an apology to Cloudy K, Cloudy with a K on Instagram because I meant to give her a shout out for guessing which device the Stars Romeo were and I forgot. So there's a shout out Cloudy K. Don't forget to give her a visit on Instagram uh, username is down in the description with a direct link. Boom. Now the Asgard Mini is going for giveaway. You've got a week to comment. The giveaway usually runs up to our film this, so I usually say Monday night, but it is often quite often about 11 o'clock Tuesday. Don't forget to read the terms and conditions. You'll probably have to pay postage. Yada yada yada. And don't forget you've got to subscribe as well. Thanks for watching guys, even if you're not entering the competition, please don't forget to subscribe, ring the bell, share the video, what not, to and forth, whatever. Um, 
Thanks for watching, guys. And most importantly, don't forget, stay cloudy!